Scientists call them Buccochloridium paradoxum, but we call them parasitic disco zombie worms. This is a green banded brood sac, the flatworm that encourages birds to peck its host's eyes out. Ha! Ah, the circle of life. What a wonderful thing. Except for maybe when that circle is a complete horror spiral that involves mind controlling parasites, unwilling zombies with eyes that are on a three day bender, live worms laying eggs inside of birds' butts, and culminating in our rancid egg riddled poop feast. Green banded brood sacs find their way into their unwitting hosts by stowing away in the poop of passerines which are sometimes referred to as perching birds or songbirds. This enormous order of birds comprises about 60% of all birds. While gross for us, bird poop is actually a highly nutritious meal, at least for a snail. These snails are colloquially called amber snails because of their amber-colored shells, which are thin and translucent. But I guess the snails didn't get the memo about the parasites in the bird poop because they gobble it up like candy, green banded brood sack eggs and all. Straight out of a horror movie, once inside the snail, the eggs hatch and turn into long, hairy larvae called Miracidia which begin wandering through the snail's body. Once they've sent out tentacles to locate the eye stalks, the Miracidia turns into the famous brood sac, which is basically a living bag full of baby worm clones. At this point, the brood sac gets its psychedelic disco pulsating colors. But being colorful isn't enough. The green banded brood sac wiggles and pulsates rhythmically up to 80 times per minute. And all of that is done just to look delicious to birds. Parasitic disco worms need not just one, but two whole species in order to complete their life cycle. The snail is an intermediate host, the organism where the parasite lives and develops. The definitive host, in this case, the bird, is where the parasite reaches sexual maturity. Once inside, the green banded brood sac larvae anchor to the wall of the bird's gut, where they mate with other adults, now called distomes. To increase the likelihood of mating success and producing a whole cloaca load of eggs, the adults are hermaphrodites, containing both male and female reproductive organs. How convenient. About two weeks later, they start laying eggs, setting the trap for the next unsuspecting snail, and completing their life cycle.